Hey guys, my name is Lily and today I'm here in the forest because I want to see if I can make a survival bow in under three hours or maybe four hours. So right now I'm searching for hazel and I'm searching for very straight pieces that I can use for my bow. However, it's really, really difficult to find straight pieces uh, of wood which are two meters long in the wilderness. So what I usually do is I search for straight pieces which are about one meter long and then I connect the pieces together to make a survival bow. And of course you want your bow to be as straight as possible. And for a survival bow I'm going to use green wood because it's easier to carve and it's also more forgiving when it comes to mistakes. So with dry wood it's much harder to make the bow and it would take much longer than just three hours to make the bow and in a survival situation you might not have more than three hours to make your bow so this is why I'm making the bow out of green wood and for the knife today I'm using my self-designed survival knife so if you want to get this knife right now it's sold out in the USA but we still have some stock left in Europe which will pretty soon be sold out so if you want to get one then grab it now and this knife is especially designed to do chopping, batoning and you can use this also as a draw knife by the way by just taking it like this at the back side and then you can shave off the bow like that. Okay, today I will use some paracord. It's the best survival cordage and I always make sure that I have some with me. For example, if I didn't bring this today I would take my shoelaces and I pretty much exchanged all of my shoes or shoelaces with paracord. So this lower limb is a little bit twisted, so I'm not sure if this is going to work, but still, I still want to keep working on this limb.
Okay, so this is the bow. Unfortunately, um, this side has a weak point, so that's not good. And this side is okay though. Uh, because of the weak point, I probably have 20 shots and then it's through. Not bad for a survival bow. I estimate it has 30 pounds, maybe 27 or so. It broke. So I got like six shots out of the bow. Uh, six shots is enough to hunt game, guys. But now it's game over. Unfortunately, the bow broke after I believe it was the seventh shot, but seven shots is not too bad actually. The first shot was really um, strong. I believe the first shot had like 30 pounds, the second 25, and green bows get weaker and weaker with every shot. So then we came down to probably 20 pounds with the last couple of shots, and then it broke. So I don't think it's too bad actually. It was just this limp, but this is still fine. And now I could make myself a new limp in one hour. And seven arrows is good enough for hunting. So you would have had seven tries before the uh, bow broke. And making a new limp, yeah, it takes a little bit of time now again, but it's not too bad. This limp came out really good. All right, so this is how you can make a quick survival bow. Um, I've built other bows in my life which held much much longer where I did like 30 or 60 shots so today I was really a little bit unlucky and yeah with bows you cannot rush it so with time pressure it's always you know a little bit hard on the nerves yeah anyway I'm going to go home now and yeah if you want to know how I made these collapsible arrows I have made a separate video on that, so I will link that video in the description below. And yeah, that's pretty much it for today. I want to thank you for watching, guys, and stay tuned till next time. <laughs> oh my god, look at this. Look what was behind the tree. Oh my god. Look at that. It's a snake skin. <laughs> I can't believe it. It's a huge snake. Look at that. <gasps> huge wow i'm pretty sure there's a snake hiding in there somewhere <laughs>